Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of area, perimeter, and volume. This is standard 5.4H in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 32 off the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have a student building a rectangular prism with cubes. Each cube is a volume of one cubic inch. That's nice. All right, so we have a volume of 96. We have a height of 6, and we need to translate that into the base. All right, interesting problem here. So let's see if we can draw a representation. And we have to translate that into one of these bases. All right, so uh, in case we need it, right, we do have something right here right so volume is going to be either a uh, rectangular prism see that middle of the screen either length times width times height or base times height and you notice that base is just length times width it's the area of the base right so we'll use either of those and it looks like it's probably going to be better for us to do v equals bh uh, simply because look uh, they give us the volume, All right? So V equals 96. They give us the height, height equals 6. And then they're asking for what's the base. All right, so that's probably why that's going to be a better uh, formula for us to use than the length times width times height, though that works. All right, so uh, let's see if we can figure this out. So we're going to do a rectangular prism. Right, and we could just kind of represent it like this right here. All right, so the height is going to be six, six inches. The whole thing is 96 inches cubed. So the question is the base, right? So the base is going to be represented by, I'll kind of shade that in down there. All right, that's my unknown. How many square inches is that base? Well, 96 times the base is going to make, or 6 times the base is going to make my 96. So I can represent it like this, right? So V equals 96. So I'm going to substitute in this for this. 96 equals, I don't know what my base is, B times I do know my h is 6. Okay, so what times 6 is going to get me up to 96? Well, one way to think about that would be our fact families, right? So we know that we can do 96 equals 6 times b, right? You know you can use the commutative property to flip those, but you know that the two inverse operations of multiplication are going to be division. So you can do 96 divided by b equals 6. Doesn't quite help you. Check out this related fact. 96 divided by 6 equals b. Well, I can do 96 divided by 6, and if that's going to give me b, then that's what I need. So let's go 6 into 96. 6 goes into 9 once. All right, so that's going to be 3, bring down the 6, all right, 16. All right, so if, if this is 16 inches squared, then 16 times 6, all right, all right, 96. So my answer is 16, but now I've got to find the right base, okay? So this is 1, 2, 3, 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 by 4. Yeah, that looks like that's going to equal 16, so A looks good. This is a 1, 2, 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's a 3 by 8. And it's 24. Not going to work. This is a 3 by 3. That's 9. This is a 1, 2, 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 5. That's 15. All right. Yep. So A is the only one that's going to work. And that is my answer.